we have our Camelot family. It's nearly four years to the day when they arrived, all the way from Granada. They were absolutely skeletal. They'd been left in a field. Two of the mares were in foal and they hadn't been fed for a long while. Sadly, one of the mares had lost her foal before she came to us because quite simply, they really were in a terrible, terrible state. We were the only rescue centre that would take them and they were brought all the way from Granada for us to save them. We named them the Camelot family. So we had Freya, Morgana and Guinevere. As you can see, Freya's actually coming up to me now to help me make this video. The two boys were born later on in the year. Miraculously, they were both born healthy. They'd managed to survive. There's young Arthur. And here we have young Galahad, have come along very, very nicely. Sadly, we lost Merlin, the dad. So we now look at these two boys and they are his legacy. We love this family very, very much. They are very, very special to us. We have no idea who actually own these horses. They obviously remain the property of somebody in Granada. We believe he was a horse breeder. They continue to stay with us. We are their carers. And they will probably now remain with us for the rest of the life. If the animal is seized by the police, it cannot be rehomed. We give them a home, but they are not ours. Somewhere out there, there is still an owner and we are merely the custodians. Probably this case will never go to court, so it will just remain an open case where there is never a solution solved. One day, I'm sure things will become a lot clearer in animal rescue here in Spain with horses, ponies and donkeys. But as yet, it is still very, very complicated. But thankfully, they are now safe with us. And once again, I would just like to say thank you so, so much to everybody out there that support us, donate all what you do. We really, really appreciate it. And when you look at these magnificent animals, isn't it wonderful that we are able to save them and take them into our care? Spain has a long way to go yet with animal welfare and the laws are very, very complicated. Um, even when you take in a rescued animal. 